Coming to you live from Southern California, an NL West matchup on the show. It's the Los Angeles Dodgers and the San Diego Padres. First now, pitch coming at you right after the break. 2022 San Diego Padres. So just about set now. Our starter in this one, Hugh Darvish. How about a report on him, Chris? His career ERA's been under four. What I like most about him is his reliability. Takes the ball every fifth day, ready to go whenever the manager calls. Okay, all set to go. And yeah, the batter now, Mookie Betts. For the Dodgers, the right field, Mookie Betts. And the pitch. That one's in there. And we're underway from San Diego. First pitch, 640. And the 01. Nope, that's there. This one popped up. Foul ground, first base side. Drury racing over to make the catch. Here's the Dodgers lineup now. This group was shut out their last game, so we're going to see if they can bounce back with a better effort here today. And Boog, it can get in your head a little bit when you get shut out. You're frustrated. You're seeing that consecutive streak of innings you haven't scored. And you want to get off to a great start, score early, because if you don't, you feel like you could linger into two consecutive games, which no one wants to be a part of. Trey Turner stands in here, leaves that one down. No score, just getting started, top of the first. Next offering is in for a strike. I mean, that's perfect location right on the black. I mean, over and over again, this guy demonstrates the ability to hit those spots. They're so tough to do anything with as a hitter. Popped up. Kim makes the play. And yeah, there's two away. Batting third. The first baseman, number five, Freddie Freeman. Freddie Freeman up to the dish. Singy, he's a guy that covers both sides of the plate about as well as anyone in the sport. How difficult is that to do? Well, just look at the back of my bubblegum card. You'll see how hard it is. These guys are great, man. They have the ability to look out there, but also to be able to turn on the inside pitch. Those that can really sharpen things on the outer half, those are the ones that become elite. Line drive. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that will end the inning. Dodgers down in order. And now the Padres get their first opportunity in a scoreless ball game. It's Major League Baseball on the show. Bottom of the first. Today's starting pitcher, Clayton Kershaw. Singy always a treat when we get to watch him work. Very crafty guy out there on the hill. A stellar career ERA in the low twos. Very tough to get to. Just when you think you've got him figured out, he flips the script. We'll see how the hitters are able to adapt to him today. Bottom of the first, here's Manny Machado. Machado. The pitch. There's a strike. Kershaw fires. In the air out to center. Bellinger in position. Puts it away for the out.
Batting second. As we take the a look at the Padres base. lineup, Brandon. they've had a great Rory. year offensively, as good an offensive team as you will find. They're deep, first and foremost, but the way that they can manipulate their personnel for matchups and everything else, it's uh, very intelligent the way that they use their team. And I, I think it creates a little bit of uh, uncertainty for opposing teams, especially in a big game, big series. Brandon Drury in the box here lets that one go for a ball. And a 1-0. Fouled off. He was late. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. Is there a little wrinkle to that? I think there was. Yeah. A little slider action. Kershaw the 2 1. Pitch misses, and that's ball three. Three one, and he couldn't come up with it. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter didn't offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. Next for the Padres, Jake Cronenworth. In there for strike one. pitch and that's a strike two really good back-to-back -back sliders now in an 0-2 count he's feeling real confident about finishing this hitter off he can go anywhere he wants 0-2 now well with the amount of pitches that can end up in the dirt a good secondary lead doesn't have to get away from the catcher but if you're anticipating based off the trajectory get yourself into scoring position stays alive. Well, oh, it's a really good pass of the ball right there. Just a little bit too quick. He's got to find a way. Just let it travel a hair more. And he deals. That's a ball. Recognize that changeup right out of the hand. Just spit on it. And now two and two. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Drury, the runner at first with one gone in the inning. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. Now two out. Well, he should get some fist bumps when he gets back into the dugout because even though he strikes out, he saw a lot of pitches and he battled. And this is a long haul where you're trying to get that pitch count up as early as possible. So gave the guys behind him an opportunity to see what's working for this pitcher or not. But I tell you what, it's a nice job right there. Now here is Ha-Sung Kim. pitch and that one fouled off see how the catcher wanted that pitch up and in want to try to tie him up that's the one thing we're seeing that high fastball you have to get it up there because of how hitters have changed their swings kicks and deals 
That one drifts inside. Well, they're really running up the pitch count in this first inning. Lots of confidence from this team that is perhaps the hottest in baseball right now. Two outs. Way inside, gets out of the way. Swing and a ball lifted left field. And that is that. Padres leave one, scoreless after one. Top of the second. Now it's the Dodger cleanup hitter, Will Smith. He got for the Dodgers. The catcher, Will Smith. Darvish back to work and there's the strike Riding to the plate ball one there umpiring behind the plate for us today Boog is Mike Fillmore and he is a good one he'll reward pitches on the edges a little bit but the main thing is he doesn't keep you guessing once he established that a pitch is a strike it stays that way. Here's a 1-1. Fought off foul. And a pitch. Stays alive. Righty delivers. And a foul ball. He stays alive. And the right hander deals. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. And that's the first out. Well, oh, that right there is just a pitcher's pitch. That tailing away from the hitter, the lowing away with some good yeah, action at the end. Yeah. You know, even if he gets the bat to that ball, it's probably just a weak ground ball to the opposite side. Tell you what, that's a tremendous two-strike pitch. And now it's Gavin Lux. Whoa, Next offering right is down low. Ball one. Foul ball. Hey. Next offering is in for a strike. Looks like a really good fastball today. You can hear that catcher's mitt pop it. Looking forward to hearing a lot of that one in this one. Second inning here, no score. Left-hand batter waits. Well, this is a guy that can be frustrating for pitchers because he fouls off so many pitches and grinds out the at-bat. I'm sure there's some times where a pitcher would rather just give up a first-pitch single than have to waste six or seven pitches on one hitter. Profar coming on. Two two now and there's a ball still just the second batter of the inning and on the mound he's already thrown 13 pitches they got him working hard out there. Good battle here about to be the eighth pitch of the at bat. Got him back 
to back strikeouts. I guarantee he's going to check the tape on that last pitch when he gets a chance because he thought it was ball four and he wasn't wrong. I mean, it was a close pitch. Definitely not an easy call, but especially after a long at bat, that'll drive you crazy getting rung up like that. Next to hit, Justin Turner. Good contact guy, good defender. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. No score here in the second. In for a strike. That's strike two. Profar ranging to his right makes the grab on the run. That is the inning. Dodgers go down quietly. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Bottom of the inning. Juan Soto now. Leading up for the Padres. The right fielder. Juan Soto. The wind of the pitch. And a strike in there. He needs a quick one, two, three this time around. Last inning through a lot of pitches. Next offering is in for a strike. I understand you want to try to gauge that guy's fastball, but you also have to be aggressive and ready to hit in your zone. Now you're in a tough spot. Out to center. Bellinger moving under this one. And it's caught for the out. Batting six. The left fielder, Jurek says. So up next, Jerickson Profar. The switch hitter batting right. In there, and it's 0-1. Goodness, I think he just took the best pitch he's going to see in this at bat. You don't get many like that in that location. I don't know if you take that pitch against any pitcher out there on the mound. That's a strike. Man, this guy's got a great feel for his breaking ball today. Oh, and two now. Profar gets a piece there. Well, the hitter's got his timing down for the breaking ball. If you're a pitcher, if you can get that fastball in on the hand, it's going to be very difficult for that hitter to get the barrel to it. Next offering upstairs. One down, base is empty. And that one hammered. That's back there. And gone. They're going crazy in the dugout. His first homer of the year. It's 1-0. Man, he just barely got that one out of here, and you've got to love the effort and left to try and bring it back. He had a good shot at it, just couldn't quite pull it off. It would have been a stunner if he did. Now it's Trent Grisham to the plate. He swings and fouls one off. Left hand hitter waits. Foul ball. The 0 2. That one missed. The guy at the plate could recognize slider out of the hand. Didn't stay in the tunnel very long in terms of depth and perception. He knew right away it was an off speed pitch. 
Next offering is way upstairs. The pitch. Tried to check his swing there, appealed a third, and he couldn't hold back. He's rung up on strikes. Two outs, bases empty. Jorge Alfaro at the plate. Alfaro. That one's in there, 0 and 1. And now the lefty. And ball one. And now the count one and two after the swing and the miss. And a pitch. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. That's out number three. But they're off to a good start as they pick up a run on this solo shot. It's now 1-0. On to the third inning. Here's Joey Gallo. Leading off for the Dodgers, the left fielder, Joey Gallo. Darvish back to work. And the first pitch misses for ball one. And another ball. And here it comes. Pitch misses, and that's ball three. Right hander kicks deals. There's a strike, and that is strike one. Swing and a miss. Next pitch has popped up. Machado drifts towards it. Hauls it in for the out. Well, that was a pitch you got to crush. Unbelievable that he missed it right there. And I'm telling you, he is going to be frustrating with himself until his next at bat. Cody Bellinger. One down. Here comes Cody Bellinger. Good defender. He's been inconsistent offensively. And the first pitch misses for ball one. At the belt and fires. So two balls and no strikes. Kicks and fires. And a foul ball makes the count two and one. The pitch. Good eye right there. And now it's filled up. The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Man, that's a tough one to take on the full count, but I guess he saw it really well. It's a really nice plate appearance. One down. And next for LA, Austin Barnes. First offering misses the mark.
And there's something you don't see very much in today's game, the pitch out. The 2-0 is in for a strike. And a pitch. Darvis checks on the runner. Bellinger at first, one gone. And that's ball four. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. Now batting, right here. Here's Mookie now. He's been such a good hitter with runners in scoring position. Some guys just take it to another level. For him right now at the plate, it's like everyone else is in slow motion and he's in full speed. He's looking for a ground ball to get a double play and out of this jam. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Really good job in this spot to get ahead in the count. He's going to have to continue, finish off this hitter. Next offering is downstairs. Two walks in the inning already, and he just doesn't seem comfortable out there. Like, he can find the right mechanics and then repeat them. Two on, one out. Falling behind two and one. Good spot for the hitter. Definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. So the tying run at second. Next offering misses down and away. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with the 3-1 count. 3-1 is on the way. Now a blast to left center. Way back there. On its way. Out of here. Mookie Betts with a towering shot. Home run number 35 on the year. And the Dodgers have the lead. It's 3-1. Let's break out the stat cast numbers. It's singing. It tells us this home run was projected at more than 450 feet. Yeah, and not many players can hit home runs as far as this one. That's a special feeling, and I'm sure he was giggling a little bit as he was jogging around the bases. That was one heck of a swing he put on the baseball. Now batting. One out, base is empty. Here's Turner now. And that's in there for strike one. And the righty deals. Ball one there. And that's a pitch early in this game. He needs called for a strike. Struggling with command issues. He's got to get a little help from the umpire. Going to count one and two. Well, he looks fresh out there. Just needs to get a little more confidence and remember how good he's been in the past. Starting to get some pretty good timing on that breaking ball, but he's going to have to stay ready for a fastball. Don't want to watch one go right by you. The one, two. And that skips in the dirt. Still only one out here in the inning. The next offering misses, and that's ball three. And he deals. Turner pops it up. Machado on the move. He's got it. There's two away. That was a good pitch to hit right down the heart of the plate. Had pretty good timing on it. Just got underneath it a little bit and popped it up. 
Freddie Freeman. Two outs, base is empty. And now it's going to be Freddie Freeman. 0 for 1 so far. First pitch, and he has to get out of the way. And a foul ball. Next one misses, and it's two and one. Here comes a pitch. There's a strike. Comes a 2 2. Stays alive. And a swing and a miss. And that is that. Big three run shot for the Dodgers. It's now a 3 1 ball game. Welcome back. And now here's the veteran DH, Josh Bell. Leading up for the Padres, the designated hitter. The wind of the pitch. Bell. Well, after putting up a nice oh, inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. Back-to-back -back breaking pitches away, you get the feeling as a hitter that the pitcher's afraid of you want to challenge you so I think the confidence level is raised right here smoked on the ground a second whips it to first one gone bottom of the third inning now batting the third baseman Manny Machado so the batting order turns over here's Machado Fly out his first time all around, I think if you asked anyone in this organization, who's the best hitter in the lineup, they would say him. In there for strike one. All one's the count. The wide to kick the pitch. Strike two. The pitch. Foul ball there. The pitch. And a foul ball. He stays alive. And Manny gets a piece. That one fouled off. And the pitch. And one and two. I don't like to say he wasted a pitch. I think that was a purpose pitch. Change the eye level, have him look up. Now go back exactly where you want to go. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. And he chases that one. Two out. Man, that slider bearing in on your hands like that. It's just so tough to fight off. It's kind of like Number a cutter and Number just can 17. eat you up, saw you Brandon. off. I'll tell you what, hitters have nightmares Glory. about that pitch. Perfectly executed out there on the mound. So two down now, and here is Brandon Drury. He reached out a walk his first time. In there, and it's 0-1. That 
And one pushed foul. The wind and the pitch. Down to the dirt, swing and a miss. Catcher has it, fires the first. That completes the strikeout, and that'll do it. Back here in San Diego, out of the fourth. The batter now will be Will Smith. The catcher, Will Smith. The right-hander back to work. And the slider just misses. Next pitch inside, 2-0. and oh. Not showing great command so far in this at bat. 2-0 count. He's got to execute here or this could get ugly. Next offering is in for a strike. He must have been looking for something else because he gave up on that pitch a little early. It was right down Main Street. Probably not going to see a better pitch to hit in this at bat. Righty delivers. On the ground at first. Drury takes it to the bag. One up, one down. The batter number nine. Second baseman, Gavin Lux. Now it's the second baseman, Gavin Lux. He was a strikeout victim his first time. And that one wrapped foul. Next offering is in for a strike. The pitch. Going to count one and two. Righty to the plate. Oh. And now it's even up. I got to count two and two. Tap to first. Drury handles. Takes oh. it himself. Two quick outs here in the top of the four. Deceptive now slider right there. Stayed in the tunnel a long time. Got that hitter out front. Rolled over it. Put it on the ground. Two outs. Base is empty. Here's the third baseman. Justin Turner. Hit it well, but fly it out to the deepest part of the outfield his first time. Ground ball left side. He dives, but he can't make the catch. Machado throws the first in time. That's the third out to the bottom of inning number four now. It's the Dodgers three and the Padres one. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Here's the second baseman, Jake Cronenworth. For the Padres, the second baseman, Jake. The pitch. Cronenworth. On the ground. And foul ball. And now the count is even. And a pitch. And a count one and two. The wind of the pitch. And the one two misses to even the count. Left hand batter waits. Got him. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. 
Oh, that slider wasn't even close to the strike zone, and he got him to chase. That's just a bad approach right there. Either he was looking for something else and got completely fooled, or he was sitting all over the slider and just couldn't resist the temptation. But, man, really expanded right there and didn't have a chance to make the contact with that pitch. And now, ha -sung Kim. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Now wanted one. And a one one. The count is two and one. Just missed. I got three and one. Three ball, one strike. And a pitch. And there's a foul ball. The other way. Just inside the line, and it's down for a knock. Now he turns and heads for second. Throw is offline, and he's got a double. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. And you can feel this crowd waking up a bit here as the guys are starting to make some noise with their bats. Man at second with one away, and now the right fielder, Juan now Soto. Right fielder, Juan Soto. And first offering is fouled off. Runner at second here, one gone. Hard on the ground to first. Dives and he can't hang on. Tosses to the pitcher covering the bag. They get the out on Soto. Now that the left fielder, Jarek Profar. Now batting Jerickson Profar. And this is a big opportunity for him to pick up his teammate right here. Fly ball down the line. Betts is on the move. Hauls it in after a long run. And that is the inning. We played four. It's the Dodgers three and the Padres one. Back here at the ballpark at the play. Joey Gallo. Leading off for the Dodgers. The left fielder. Joey Gallo. And he deals. And that's in for a strike. Chris, we were excited to watch him pitch. This is a little more along the lines of what we we're expecting performance-wise. Yeah, Boo, great pitchers like this. You may get one opportunity in one inning to get to him, to get some runs up on the board. And if you don't take it then, you may see zeros the rest of the ball game. Next pitch has popped up. Drury settles under it. Makes the grab one away. Now batting the center fielder, Cody Bellinger. And up to the plate comes Cody Bellinger. He walked and came around to score his first time up. That one's in there, 0 and 1. 0 1 for count. And here it comes. 
That one ran inside, almost got him. Straighten him up a little bit. Kicks and deals. Swings through that. Man, he was really tardy on that fastball. Great job of setting him up by throwing the curveball. Add some velocity to it on the next pitch. Can't catch up. Right-hander kicks deals. There's a line drive to left field. Drops for a hit. He couldn't run it down. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of this struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game. But all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. Man at first with one gone. And up next for Los Angeles, Austin Barnes. First offering, and it just misses. Bellinger over at first with one away. Pitch misses inside, and it's 2-0. This one in the air center field. And he makes the catch. Two away down. Now batting. Right fielder. Mookie. Betts. Back to the top of the lineup. Here's Mookie now. He has, as they like to say, light tower power. Not a big guy, but a big swing and thunder in that bat. Next pitch downstairs, 1-0. and oh. So critical to keep an eye on the pitch count this time of the year. Guys can start to run on fumes a little bit. Mechanics can drop off. And we know they need him to be fresh and ready for big innings in October. Next offering misses, and the count is 2-0. Oh. Action in the pen down there. Number 50, getting ready to come in for Bob Melvin. Number 21, getting loose as well. Next pitch is downstairs. Two outs. In the air, out towards right center. And that will end the inning. So the Dodgers leave one as the lead remains 3-1. And welcome back. We head to the bottom of the fifth. And now here is Trent Grisham. The center fielder. Trent. Here comes a pitch. It's good speed at the top of the order here. You want to get it on, see if you can get a stolen base, maybe get around the bases and pick up a run. The 2 Cut on and miss. Struck him out. One away. No, oh, there's a small sigh of relief right there. I mean, just to keep that speed off the base pass, it's now not just the pitcher, pitcher. It's other guys that have to think about it from your oh, infielders, wow. have to think about that runner potentially stealing, but also be in position to make a play. As an outfielder, you're thinking about a base hit to the outfield. I got to get to it quickly to try to keep this guy from taking an extra base. So I think everyone just a little more relaxed that he didn't reach base. Line drive to short and caught. Now batting the designated hitter, Josh Bell. Two outs, bases empty. 
So digging in now for San Diego, Josh Bell rolled out to second in his first at bat. That one misses in the dirt. You want to be patient here. Try to work a walk if you can. You've got a big power bat behind you in the on-deck circle. And with two outs, one swing could put you right back in this ballgame. There's the strike. The pitch. Off the mark there. Two balls and a strike. just off the inside edge well he's so great about hitting the ball the other way he gets those arms extended so right there just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage this one popped up foul ground first base side Freeman makes the catch and that'll do it three up three down for San Diego score holds it's 3-1 Back here at Petco Park, Trey Turner now. These two offenses could put up runs in a hurry. And a pitch. That one off the mark, ball one. And a strike. Belton fires. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And there's one away. Here comes Freddie Freeman up now to hit. The first baseman, Freddie Freeman. That one is absolutely belted. That's back there. And that one hops the wall. The throw is wild and it gets away. And he'll pull into second safely. Challenged him with the fastball right in the heart of the zone, and he was clearly ready to jump all over it. Yeah. One out, runner at second. And up to the plate is Will Smith. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. And now the 0 1. Swing and a miss. Ugly swing right there. I'll tell you this that's going to go on that pitcher's highlight reel. Freeman, the runner at second with one away. And a swing and a miss. So he's gotten deep into this game, and at least so far, not showing a ton of signs of fatigue. Gavin Lux. And at the plate for the Dodgers, Gavin Lux. And that one pulled foul. The next pitch misses, and it's a ball to strike. Nasty backdoor slider. There's really nothing you can do with that if you swing at it, so that's a good take by him. Here's a 1-1. And that one cutting but missing down low. Runner at second, two down. 
Next pitch is outside. And a count is three and one. That's his second strikeout. Top of the order due up in the home half of the sixth. It's the Dodgers three and the Padres one. Back here in San Diego, here's Manny Machado to start it off. Leading up for the Padres, the third baseman, Manny Machado. Kershaw back to work. Swings through that one. He got away with one there, but he knows he can't go into that spot very often against a guy like this. And now the lefty. Slapped hard the other way, but foul. The pitch. Out towards right center field. Betts settles under this one. And out number one on the grab. The first baseman, number 17, Brandon. Brandon Drury to the plate. He's 0 for 1. First pitch doesn't find the zone. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. And there's a strike on the outside corner. Wow, just a beautiful backdoor slider right there. If you've got any chance of hitting that pitch, you have to wait until the absolutely last millisecond. Just a tough pitch to hit and not an easy one to throw either. This to third. In plenty of time to first. Two up, two down. Well, a well-thrown slider like that one can be okay. tough to get in the air. Good downward break on that one. So digging in, Jake Cronenworth. Blind into right. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that'll do it. Nothing doing there for the Friars. And it remains a 3-1 ball game. Adrian Morahol on the pitch here. And he has some nasty breaking stuff. So now Turner in on that right side. Well, on paper, it's favorable to have a fairly quick inning here with two of the three hitters he's set to face batting from the left side, same side he throws from. The wide to kick the pitch. Ball one, no strikes. Activity in the bullpen for San Diego. Number 75, up and throwing. Wilson getting cranked up as well. Kicks and fires. And the 1 0 misses low. 2 0. On the corner for a strike. And a curve misses outside. At this point in the game, you cannot issue free passes. He's going to have to challenge this hitter. Hitter's got to be ready to swing it. Turner awaiting a 3-1. That one ripped, but foul. And the pitch. Fouled off again. And it remains 3-2. The pitch. Up the middle, and that one finds its way through. Man aboard on the leadoff single. 
Showed some really nice patience in that at bat. Worked himself up into a good top. count. Really nice That'll job staying up the middle with his Showing approach. He didn't try to do too way. much with the pitch. Just shot it through the infield. And now it's Joey Gallo. Trying to move him over here. Fires over to first. That's the first out, the top of the seventh. The center fielder, number 35, Cody Bellinger. So up next, Cody Bellinger. Really good piece of hitting last time going to the opposite field. In there for strike one. Left hand hitter waits. Swings and misses. And that is strike two. And now one and two. The one two stays alive. One out and a runner at second. And a swing and a miss. Two gone now. No, that slider was way out of the zone. And for me, it just comes down to not seeing the pitch out of the hand, not tracking it into the zone, and then also being a little bit anxious, not confident in your two-strike approach. And so when a guy's in that position, you get him to commit early, and a lot of times you get the swing and miss, as you did right there. And now here's the Dodgers' designated hitter, Austin Barnes. He's a catcher by trade, but the DH here in this one. First pitch, and he just misses. Turner stands at second with two gone. Next offering is in for a strike. The pitch. So now one and two. One ball, two strikes. Just a weak fly ball this time. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. And that is that. Seventh inning stretch time. It's the Dodgers three and the Padres one. Welcome back. Set for the last half of the seventh. Here's the cleanup hitter for the Padres. Ha Sung Kim. Not shortstop. Ha Sung Kim. The wind of the pitch. And that one clips the corner. The Dodgers bullpen with some action. Chris Martin looks to be getting ready for manager Dave Roberts. Price, the lefty, warming up as well. The 0 1. And that one missing low. The pitch. Strike two. And it really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. And a pitch. Ripped on a line. Bellinger makes the grab. And there's one down. Now that the right field. And now it's Juan Soto. In there and it's 0-1. Now just a cement mixer slider right there. It's a great pitch to hit if you can recognize it early and jump on it. And here it comes. And fouled off.
Left hand batter waits. On the ground. Turner collects it. They get the out on Soto. The left fielder, number 10. And here is Jerickson Profar. Profar gets a piece there. A wind of the pitch. Bounce to the left side. Turner with the throw to first. And that is the inning. Padres down in order. And they still trail it here, three to one. We're at the top of the eighth. Here's some real power at the plate. Mookie Betts. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. And he deals. Check swing, but he went too far. That's strike one. The pitch. And downstairs. Bullpen action for the Padres. A lefty up and throwing out there. Next pitch misses, and it's two and one. Curveball over for a called strike. Kicks and deals. Fought off foul. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Looked like you got a little excited on that fastball. Got to think to yourself, you want to stay up the middle. That way, if you're a little bit early, you hit it out of the ballpark. If you're a little late, opposite field knock. The punch out there, one away. So he gets the call and picks up the strikeout looking. Sometimes with a good hitter at the plate, he'll be the one to get the benefit of the doubt if he lays off on a close pitch like that, but just not right there. Strike zone definitely expand a little bit with two strikes. Trey Turner at the plate. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Just missed. Oh, he never moved because he never had time to. With that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. And now the lefty. Late swing, fouled off. The wind of the pitch. Fouls one off. Two and two. And a pitch. And down on strikes he goes. And there's two down. Well, anytime you can punch out the top two guys in a lineup to start an inning, got to be feeling pretty good out there on the mound because when you think of just having a distraction, table setters on the base paths, and all of a sudden you're dealing with the number three hitter, any distraction can cause you to serve up a cookie. And instead of it being a solo shot, it's a two or three run homer. That one ripped. That's back. Turning, looking, and that one is gone. 
ready. Freeman bops one out of here. And they add on. It's 4-1. That's the exact definition of hitting the ball where it's pitched, taking that outside fastball and driving it the opposite way out of the ballpark. You want to bottle that type of approach. Now batting. And now Will Smith. Will. First oh, off, bringing it just misses. Two down, nobody on. Two balls, no strikes to count. Two will count to a guy like this at the plate. You've got to throw a pitcher's pitch. Don't just try to get a strike. He could make you pay. The 2-0 is in for a strike. Two outs. And now two and two. And there's a ball. The wide to kick the pitch. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Dodgers add one to their lead on the solo homer. It's now a 4-1 ball game. Chris Martin takes Your over on the mound, please. and he'll work on Number holding this lead. Number 58, Chris Martin. Ready for the bottom of the eighth, and now Trent Grisham. Leading up, the Padres, the Padres in striking distance, but have some work to do. Trent. Boog, it starts with the laid off man. Right Need a good at bat out of him right here. The pitch. That's in there. Well, it's critical right here that they bear down and turn in some quality at bats. Try to chip away at that lead because if it gets to the ninth, that closer's coming in. Righty delivers. Stays alive. And the 2 And a foul ball. He stays alive. And the righty deals. Swing and a miss. And he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Well, they've had a great plan of attack for him tonight. I mean, finding now all the holes catcher. in his swing and his Four approach. Hands. Just frustrating oh, for him up oh. there. You strike out a guy three times in a game. I think that guy's got to go back and really study some video with his hitting coach, figure out how they're beating him, make this adjustment really quick because word will get around the league in a hurry. Now the batter now, Jorge Alfaro. First pitch, just misses. And that one upstairs. And the right hander deals. Ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one out single. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from. And there's just no one there to knock it down. One gone runner at first. Josh Bell, the next up for the Padres. Now he breaks his bat. He makes the catch, and there's two down. The third baseman, number 13, Manny Machado. So two down now, and here is Manny Machado for the fourth time tonight. 
got to keep things airtight defensively right here on your toes ready to make a play if you can get this to the ninth with a three run lead it should be a W. First pitch and that's in for a strike. Right hander kicks deals in the dirt well done behind the dish. Next nope. one misses now two, two balls, balls and a strike. Alfaro off of first with two away. That one in for a strike two and two. Just a really nice slider down and in there. He wants to get the hitter thinking fastball speed him up and just subtract some velocity and add a little movement. Slice to right base hit. They stop the lead runner at second. Now two on with two outs. Well, that may end up being an at bat we go back to later on when this game is over. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. Now a huge at bat in this game coming up. Brandon Drury stands in with two away as he takes a ball. The 1-0. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. The tying run at the plate. Check swing, but he went too far. And the count, one and two. Two outs, couple of base runners at first and second. Next one just misses. Ball two. That's a really good take. And the 2 2. Got him! Third out. He's in a tough spot, had to make a great pitch, did it, got the strikeout, gets out of the jam. Clearly, he's happy with those results. Back here at the ballpark, all set to start the ninth in this one. And at the plate for the Dodgers, Gavin Lux. Feels like it's less common today that you see a guy like this. The speed component, the contact component, but lack of power. Swing and a slow roller. And he handles it himself for the out. Now batting. Third baseman, Justin Turner. Turner climbs in on that right side. That one's in there, 0 and 1. Movement in the bullpen, number 75, getting ready to come in for Bob Melvin. The pitch. Bounce to third. Lays out, but he can't squeeze it. Zips it across. And a couple of quick outs. Now better. You gotta be kidding me. Did you see that throw? Not really, Boog. I mean, it happened in the blink of an eye, it seemed, but thankfully StatCast is here to help us out. I mean, you don't see many throws across the infield that get up into the 90s, so he really reached back for that one, and he had to to get the out. Joey Gallo steps to the plate. In there for strike one.
Left hand hitter waits. Pitch is in there, and it's nothing in two. Throwing the ball well, and they need this scoreless inning in relief right here. Been doing a good job keeping them in striking distance. Swag and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Hard of the order. 3 4 5 will get their shot in the bottom of the ninth. It's the Dodgers four and the Padres one. So they turn to Craig Kimbrell. And he's been so good against lefties. Number 46, Craig Kimbrell. And welcome back. Last chance for the home team. Digging in, Jake Cronenworth. For the Padres, the second baseman, Jake Cronenworth. And the pitch. And ball one. Lifted in the air, right center field. Betts is on the move, pulls it in on the run. And a quick out, number one. The batter, the shortstop, Ha Sung Kim. And now the shortstop, Ha Sung Kim. One for three. First offering, misses the mark. The belt and fires. Slow ground ball to the right side. He takes it on his own. Now only one out remaining. Up next to the Padre, the right fielder. Juan Soto. Here's Juan Soto. First pitch doesn't find the zone. He really committed to that fastball up at the top of the zone. He knows that if he makes a mistake in the zone, it gets hit hard by a power guy like this. That's a nice miss right there. Next offering is in for a strike. Just amazing to me how many closers and back end relievers just throw absolute gas these days. I never would have had a chance. Righty to the plate. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Just one strike away. On the ground to the left. This looks like extra bases. Makes the turn and heads for second. And that's a double. That's tremendous fight from him. And I know it's got the dugout fired up down there. Down to the last strike. And he comes up with a hit to keep the game alive. It ain't over yet. Jerks and Profar, the next up for the Padres. Now batting, left fielder, Jerickson, Profar. Next offering is down low, and it's 1-0. Right-handed reliever. And it's fouled away. Kicks and fires. Swing and a base hit. So that's two straight two out hits. And they hold him at third. 90 feet away with two out. Now batting. Center fielder. So they're down to their final out. Stepping in for San Diego, Trent Grisham. He's someone that you might not describe as having elite level speed, but he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. Oh. 
This is the guy they turn to to get the most important outs of the ball game, but they're going to make him work to get this save. Soto at third, Profar at first, two out of the inning. He swings and hits a fly ball, center field. He'll squeeze it for the final out, and the Dodgers claim the win here behind some great pitching and defense. Sometimes road trips can be tough. You're away from your family, but when you can win, silence that opposing crowd. It makes things just a little bit better. It makes the road trip just a little bit shorter. 4-1 the final here today. Dave Roberts and company celebrate in the dugout. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Shambi saying so long. Here now is our final line score tonight. First for the victorious Dodgers. Four runs on five hits. No errors. They left three men on base. For the Padres, one run on six hits. No errors. They left six men on base. The winning pitcher is Clayton Kershaw. His record is now 11 and 3. The loss goes to Yu Darvish. He falls to 0 and 1. Time of the ball game, 2 hours and 47 minutes. Tonight's paid attendance at Petco Park, a sellout, 40,209. The Padres thank you for your continued support and remind you to please drive home safely. Good night.